This is the Levels Network. I am Justin Hordor, joined by the Triple OG Widamu Mason. And Good. speaking of Widamus, a um, little shout out to remember the young kid that I talk, talked about played his debut for Penrith Panthers last, last year. Yeah. I end up like you know going through socials every now and again to find a few of the boys that I'm not following, not familiar with on social media. Yep. Jesse McLean is Jesse Widamu. Oh, that's is he? Middle name. He's got a little bit. He's got like actual, <laughs> <laughs> I caught, oh, I a caught it. He's a, he's a young, good young kid, and uh, we had a bit of a back and forth in the DMs. Yeah. And uh, wish him nothing but the best, man. He's just he's another one of those kids that's good coming kid. through the system that can uh, really have find. It's like not surprising me, man. If they find another Jerome Luai out there, another critter out there, he's more of a, a critter. So he's going to be a hybrid center wing up fullback yeah, potentially. They're just him. breeding them out there, man, <laughs> for football, and they all want to play for the Panthers. Yeah. Glory days. His, his yeah, his handle on is Damn. Jesse Widemu. Or, <laughs> Jesse or Widemu. like you know when he's got the in, in the bio, it's got Jesse Widemu. So it made me giggle. Um, also, mate, we got it wrong. I was I couldn't even correct you because I thought you're. Uh, I didn't know. Where did I get it from? One. So it's round zero. So all the teams essentially have the I'm buy. So confused. Yeah. So on the last episode, mate, <laughs> South have, have the buy the next week. Someone told me they got the buy. Well, they do really yeah, because they're playing round zero and round one. They're not playing. That's essentially why it's called round zero. I wasn't, I wasn't switched on enough to correct you at the time as well. So we all fucked up. But yeah, Souths have got the week off the next week, as do the Manly Sea Eagles, as do the Roosters, as do the so final two Prison Broncos. Yeah, they're round zero. They come back and play round two like everyone else. I think Souths have be a more buy. danger then. So yeah, it's more danger. All four more teams got to buy more opportunity. Yeah, that's for sure. Right. That's even worse. I just thought South had the buy. All four got the buy. I think oh, obviously. Well, I think there's going to be too much pressure. It'll on be them. fun. Yeah, yeah. If you got a week off, come on. You got to do it right. Like yes, I think there's going to be too it, much. As I said, the culture's not like it used to be. Yeah, they're yeah. still going to have a good time, but it's all going to be limited. And still with, a couple of wild boys out there. Yeah, and Trust with, me. And with what happened with the Broncos boys just recently, everyone else is just going to be on edge. No one's yeah. going to want to fuck up. And potentially maybe ruin <laughs> another opportunity because be I think they've signed a five year deal to go over to Vale. I could be wrong. That could be wrong as well. Five but year deal. no, five year deal. I, th- I, th- I thought it was five year deal. So if you do want to go back, PVL will be monitoring mon- monitoring these teams very closely. Um, obviously, want to thank our friends, uh, a good friend of ours at the show, Jason from and the team at FactorySound.com for all that DJ equipment, high end audio. Um, it's the bee's knees. Speaking of bee's knees, the body science BSC yeah. energy drink. Mace, you couldn't even help yourself. You cracked it before you got in here because you wanted to have a yeah. fucking huge show today. So you got us pumping. Uh, and because like we always say, it's the ultimate performance for boosting focus and mental performance. So whether you are getting after it in the gym, going for a run, going for a swim like I did this morning, did my swim run, or you just want to be locked in for this yeah. potty, Mace, BSC energy, energy energy drinks are it. And I know my little mate, mate Lukey, at the back, he's requested more cans because he's pumping through them at the moment whilst he gets ready for his fight on April 27th at the Gold Coast Convention Centre. So for all those details, follow Alpha Events Co. on Instagram and continue to we're watch We're going to that, journey. aren't we? Yeah, we're going there. In the corner. <laughs> as long as my little mate starts ripping in and I know he's been right. training hard in the gym. 12 weeks, Lukey. Um, but I want to see – I seen a, a, a clip on Instagram last night of Harry Garside sparring. Not Harry Garside. Brock Jarvis. Mm. <sighs> they fucking he guns, man. He wasn't fucking around, Brock Jarvis. No. I, I, want, I, want, I want Lukey to get in there with Brock Jarvis. Friend of, he's, a, he's a friend Harry of Garside there. as well. Harry Garside. I know Harry. Yeah, Harry's he, a good man. He'll, he'll take life. you through some rounds, Lukey. Who do you, who do you want, Lukey? Yeah, Luke, he's got a few. They're all want to punch the shit out of you. Who's the uh, <laughs> the UFC fighter? We're down in Melbourne. Said he was going to Jack Jenkins. Jenkins. Jack Jenkins, friend of the show. Friend of yeah, Sammy Goodman, another friend of the show. Use yeah, it all, Lukey. We, got, we got some fighters. We got some fighters in his corner, so we might not be required until game day, which is the April twenty seventh up in Goldie. Mm. Uh, twenty one thousand subscribers, mate. We're growing. Yes. We're flying. We're on twenty eight point eight on Instagram. We want to get that thirty k, fifty two on TikTok, as we are the grouse on TikTok. So make sure you subscribe on Apple, Spotify, leave a review, five stars, leave a comment, and help us build out our show, like we do right now. With the Ramwick boy who corrected us on South not having a buy with a number of other people, by the way. Uh, but let's get to our YouTube questions. This one's more of a statement. 
and I love it, and it's based around um, you know what they do at the Koori Knockout. Just on the Challenge Cup, how Willie was saying how mad it would be to play against Trell or Cody, for instance, when you gave yeah. the example of a Challenge Cup if we had one over here in Australia. That's what the Koori Knockout is like. All the brothers get to say they played against NRL Calibre. Love the show. Been a Doggies fan forever. Missed the 04 Dogs of War. That mm. is from Shannon Patrick. Great point, mate. Damn. Um, you know, when whenever there's that tournament in particular is caught, caught into question or in the past I've played in a, a New Zealand Māori tournament called Nahui Fa uh, where there's representation of uh, all different um, New Zealand Māori players uh, with NRL experience. It's those sorts of days that even as a – a player, I really appreciated being a part of those and, you know, getting to rub shoulders yeah. with some A-graders and, and some uh, – well, back in the day it was called Jim Beam, Jim Beam Cup. It's got a different name now. But um, you know that a few of the boys get a yeah. lift against not only playing with you but some of the boys get a, a lift with playing against oh, you. Oh, yeah. The Curry knockout's crazy like that. Look, look, look what happened to Fox. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude got li- <laughs> Fox got lifted. <clears throat> yeah. Dude, come in like it's just – it's like backyard footy. He's um, cracking things. I seen him speaking about it the other day. He's in good nick, man. Yeah, he fucking looks good. Fox That's carnival diet, man. Geez. Stacked. I love. It. Look at his Instagram. I love how he gets photos with uh, all the blokes and no one near as ripped up as him. Yeah, he looks <laughs> slick, looking good, man. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, a big <clears throat> year from Fox, man. Yeah, he's so big, he's strong. A couple more kilos of uh, of just pure muscle, man. He was. Fuck, he's cut out a lot of habits. In his life, so um, that's good. It's good. It's good for him. I seen him at Money's wedding too. He seems like super focused. Yeah, man. You know when you 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 go and there's there was a few different players from different teams, but a lot of those boys were super focused. Not might not have had the years they anticipated or, or they're used to, right? So Melbourne, yeah. even though they made it to the top four, that's that's not their standard. Yeah. They want to fucking go all the way. Yeah. Um, Cheese wasn't happy with how it went yeah. at the Roosters last year. None of Fox them wasn't happy with how it went at the Dogs last year. Um, so yeah, they've all got pride, and they've been at the top of their game for so many years. Mm. And when it doesn't go right, you know, you get get back get back to the lab, work your ass off, and get stuck into it again. Yep. Uh, this one's from Run It, Run It the podcast. This is a good one. I like this one. Question for the show: Should the Warriors go after Tyrell Ma- Tyrell May, Tyrell May, and his brothers get a good young prop to replace Adam Fanua Blake? Taylor May would be a great opposite to either RTS in the centres or opposite wing to DWZ, and he could really help out CNK, Chance, Nick Klogstad, and Montoya with metres mm. out of their own end. So, and Tyrone would be a good backup utility with heaps of experience. So, obviously, the brother Tyrone is over playing at Hull KR. Yeah. Uh, Taylor is on the wing or obviously a big part of what Penrith are going to be doing this year. What team is is Warriors a team that could potentially take on all three? Like yeah. you got to look like yeah, I know it's, that's going to be hard, man. The Warriors, well, why would they want all three? Well, I think a lot of teams I want Tyrell. Like Tyrell <laughs> yeah. I want the dude from Penrith, and if it comes with two other two other decent players, you can deal with it. Here's a question for you on that. But I, the boy, big boy from the Roosters, he ain't no slouch. Well, I reckon his value in the way that he finished last year, he went from yeah. the third best brother, the youngest brother, yeah. to probably the most sought after brother yeah. in the space of 10 weeks. A couple of those, couple of those games May's in that semi-final with 70 minutes, bro. Taylor May's a dog too. So I don't say, I'm not saying that, like no disrespect to Tyrone and Taylor, but I think the young pup, a lot of teams want that He's front row. He's my pick. Yeah. If I was going to go for anyone. And he wants to go with his brothers. Yeah. So... <laughs> You've got to be able to find some space for all three. Mm. He's even said he's willing to Fair take Fair enough it. to him as well, wanting to play with each That's other. That's cool, I, I love that. Yeah. I love that. And um, it's something that they're going to try and sit down and manoeuvre. Like it's going to take a year or two maybe. He said it was – The pieces need to be right. Yeah. You, know, you know, Tyrell's made – I mean, he's made grand finals, already won them, and the other brothers. Who, Taylor? No, Taylor. So Taylor's made. So Tyrone's won one. Tyrone's won a grand final as a utility – uh, Tyrone mi- Taylor missed it last year. Remember he did his Achilles? But he, or his... The one, he won the one before. Nah, Charlie Staines ended up Shut taking Shut up. His... Remember he got injured right at the death and then he also got suspended. Oh, he, he hasn't got one. Well, he, he did. Like they won the comp, but he no, got injured he didn't right play. at the No, he didn't play so in the GF. So he didn't get one. No, yeah. So, um, and then obviously. It's uh, not the NBA. Yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> well, Bull- uh, Uncle Bully, we talked about Isaac Luke. He got yeah, a ring in the but end. But in his, in his head. He didn't play, so he didn't. He didn't deserve a ring. I'd be this. I'd have the same. Same mindset. Steve Price. Yeah. When JT gave him the ring, still didn't play. Yeah. yeah. You know, it, it'll cut you. Yeah. Well, and you still like in your mind, you'd be like, oh fuck, I still need to get one for sure. Yeah. But back to the point, uh, or back to the question. 
who's gonna who's who can afford to take on all three? Because uh, Tyrell's come out and said, oh, I'm happy to take a pay cut from. I don't care. Like the money doesn't interest me as much to a degree as long if if I could play with all three of my brothers. Shit. So, um, and maybe the Warriors. They're yeah. New Zealand blood, aren't they? Yeah. What about Bulldogs? Bulldogs should yes. handle it. You think of some of the teams down the bottom, like obviously well, we need a, 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 like a, a dragon, a center, a uh, dragon. an interchange, and a front rower. Yeah, that's all three that the Bulldogs would need. Well, I thought I heard reports that potentially they'd pulled out of the. I, I think maybe Gus had given him a, a, a rough timeline yeah. and it sort of gone yeah. past that. So maybe like at a the dragon. end of this year, maybe at the end of this year, he can make a decision. Mm. So I'm pretty sure a, a dragons, a Bulldogs. Not many other teams, man. Who was down a Canberra? Canberra, you know, like yeah, they'd they would suit Ricky style. All yeah. three of those guys, yeah. Just got to live in Canberra. Yeah, shout out to Canberra. Shout out to Canberra. <laughs> mm. It's a good. That's question. the thing. Yeah, uh, I mean, Warriors. They, I don't think the like. I think, I think obviously they'd love to take Tyro, but I don't think necessarily as much as I love Talon. Like Montoya had a good year. Dallin's obviously there, still relatively like. In his prime. They're more thinking about the big man. Yeah. Everyone's sort of like, it's yeah. who wants the big man and who's willing to spend. Because it's hard to get a big man who can move and be fit in the middle and do as much as he did he last, last minutes, year. So, so yeah. everybody noticed. He put the whole NRL on notice, like six foot four, 115 kilos, got through a shitload of work. And he was their number one dude out there. And he's well, a baby. Lindsay, Collin, Lindsay Collins was uh, He was a one. baby, but, yeah, like he, but he, he, I think he played better than Lindsay Collins. In a couple Ooh. of those back end of the, uh, those games at the back end. He yeah. was their dude. Yeah. When he Hargraves, was playing well. When Hargraves was suspended, yeah. he came off the bench and he put in massive minutes. It was what he was doing with the minutes. You're right. He really stepped up when yes. Jared got suspended, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. So people noticed that. Coaches yeah. noticed it. Recruiters noticed it straight away. Like, how old was this kid? Yeah. Look at the minutes he banged out. Look mm. at how important that game was. Yeah. So big, big game player. For sure. Um, this one is from Jimmy Reed. Hey, boys, seen online my bunnies have marked the paddock at Heffron with the measurements that they'll be playing on in Vegas. So I don't know if you've heard about this, Mace, but obviously yeah. the field is a little bit smaller NFL in field, Vegas. Yeah. Yep. Do you foresee it making much of a difference to how the games play out or will it be reasonably minor as I'd say you both would have experienced similar changes when playing across the pond, correct, over in the Super League smaller fields? L one since day one. Love you, Jimmy. I think so. Because I understand half a metre in the middle is like five metres out in the wing. Huge. Why do you see wingers, corner posts there, scoring right here? Yeah, It's because of all the work done in the middle. So those, those gaps close a little bit earlier, then therefore out wide it'll close a lot earlier. Yep, I agree. So it'll be bash up through the middle, two games. Yeah, that's who, a great that's point. That's what I it's going to be because you're not really going to – not look at how Souths play. They fan that shape out on the left with Luttrell, boom – those middles are going to come up, shift to the sidelines and just push them out. Mm, great point. Yeah, I think that's just going to – it's five metres, man. Five or yeah. six metres. It's a fair It's a fair amount. Yeah. So it's about two <coughs> metres. Especially for the backs. Side. For yeah. the backs. It's like those wingers need that extra two metres, three metres each side. Yeah. So they can put a bit of a move Defensively on. Defensively or yeah. in yardage. Both. Both. Uh, and also a big one, huge one for the kickers yep. in goal. So you've, yeah. you've watched – uh, is it when they played the Super League final at Wembley and it's very hard to get a repeat mm. set with the small end goals as well. Yeah. When you're used to like, you know, that... that It's going to be grass on there, but the meter, field. Yeah, it's going to be, yeah. The, the, the grass has changed, great, but the yeah. measurements are shorter yeah. at both ends. So, you know... Otherwise you'll be flying off the edge of it. Yeah. I dare say there'd probably be more opportunities or there'd be more of a mindset to maybe put it in the air rather than rolling across the ground yeah. if it's shorter. And it's, it's, it's these games going to be one through the middle. Yeah. It's going to be a bash up. Yeah, so who's got the better? Like, thinking of the two games. So Broncos, Broncos and Broncos is going to be pack. doozy. Um, so who, who does it favour in Manly and Rabbitohs, do you think? You're right. The both packs aren't dominant, right? No. They get, they're, they're, they're good. Like, yeah. they're really good work. Like, you've got your Cam Murrays, you've got your Jake Chaboyevichs and, you know, Kepi's good low tacklers. Yeah. They um, don't have, like, elite front rollers, they? don't do have, they? no. They don't have a team. You know, Payne Haas might fucking just run and destroy things because he's so fit and he'll bang out 70 minutes in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> he's a pain. I think if the Broncos or Roosters were playing against the other two, it'd be heavy advantage for those two teams. Yeah. But I feel like they're going to cancel each other out. Mm. And then Roosters and Manly don't have the level of play in that position yeah. as well to take advantage of. It'll go of off really like – if you can't really get outside them, right, it'll just go through the middle with some offloads and Teddy mm. and all that just around Walsh getting some lazy guys, back ends of the half. You know, it just depends what Tommy Trebojevic turns up. I want to see that. 
I think it suits Turbo. You know, you know Latrell, like you know what I mean? Like the fullbacks, instead of passing those long balls, they'd be running it. You well, don't that, want to run? Latrell. I want to see Latrell run instead of throw, like going, because he, he's got such silky hands, right? He can play long, look short, do everything, put a kick in. Bro, if he spots you out mm. as a three man, he's throwing you over. Remember what mm. GI did to Soward? Yeah. Charles got it. Could in the be bag. like that. Charles got that in the bag. He's got that in the bag. So was <clears> Tommy. So whatever way they go, I think I'm, I'm pretty sure the, the fullbacks would be running a lot more than what they were doing when they were just throwing those lasers and they'll just, just get that try. Because mm. as I said, like, Half a metre in the middle is five metres out. Yep. As a ball goes past, past, everyone's sprinting up, people at home sprinting up, and then they're chasing the inside as fast as they can go. Yep. That's why you got to execute. And it's round one or zero, whatever you call it. Speaking of trial mid, uh, there's a little bit of news yesterday. Manly prop Josh Alloy has apologised for liking an Instagram comment that suggested Latrell Mitchell always plays the racism, racism card. And said it was an accident. Alawai was alerted on Tuesday for the fact he had liked the comment on social media and he quickly removed the like saying it was done inadvertently. The comment on the post read, biggest sook and always plays the racism card. I was looking through Instagram as I normally do. Alawai said in a statement via the Seagulls, I saw a post from Latrell and I was going through it when I accidentally liked a comment as I was scrolling. When I was made aware of this, I immediately deleted it. If anyone saw it, I would like to say that it was certainly not my intention at all. So You've got to take him at his word, right? You have to. You know, you just got to. But like, but, look at the fucking other comments that are on that. Yeah. The headline. Like, leave him alone. Hmm. Fuck, they just – they create this narrative, right, that he's whatever, whatever that comment that he liked. Hmm. The NRL have created this narrative. The Telegraph, everybody's created this narrative. Yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't. He doesn't like whatever he whatever he do, does. He always they always say that he does this. Like well, just, he because he just, just because he just just because he fucking just because he stands up for indigenous rights and he's like he, he says what he thinks. Everyone thinks he silks and goes home and all this kind of well, stuff. I'll give he you some do context. That, you, I don't think you've seen the video. So in the video, he was interviewed. I'm just saying in general. In general, yeah. Fuck about like the video. over the years, it's been yeah, built to this. Yeah, the, but the specific video was he was talking about racism he copped as a kid uh, playing footy and you know, sort of being intimidated and, and running and getting back home quickly. And again, this is why I brought this post up too, and not necessarily on Alloy. You've got to take him on his word, but it's, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not familiar with Josh Alloy. I don't know him enough to say this is one way or the other, but it's disappointing because disappointing in a sense, once I went on there and you read some of the comments and... Disgusting. It's disgusting because the shit thing about it is... He's playing in this game. So, like, he's giving you examples of why this game means a lot to him and why mm. he's so passionate about representing his people. And he can't win. He's one of those no. guys that feels like if he was not playing in this game, people would go, ah, the game's shit. Like, you know where people are criticising Kalen and a few others for pulling out of the game? Reese Walsh yeah. uh, could have potentially played for this game. But they, for various reasons... People pull out, and this is not a crack at any of them, but if Latrell wasn't playing in this game and didn't take it seriously, he'd go, people would find a, a reason to rip into him for that. And yeah. he's just one of those guys. He's one of like he's obviously super polarizing. He's a he's a star of our game. But I go through and off the back of this, because I hadn't I hadn't seen the video, I hadn't seen the the comments until yeah. I heard about the LOI <clears throat> like, which got me going looking at it. And it's just like it's a real shit part of society that, that no, we live in. Just bubbles, and when it surfaces like that, like yeah. all it takes is one little comment from Latrell, and they just go at him. Yeah. He's that sort of dude that, that he is polarizing. He says what he thinks. They don't like that. No, you know, like, you know what I mean. Like, in, I just, I'm not even talking about. It. I haven't even seen the video. I'm mm. just talking about the narrative and what's been happening Over for the, the last five or six years about Latrell. Mm. They've always printed shit like this. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, so in people's head, they just think that he's like that. He's not. He does so much work for the Indigenous people and his people and all the young kids and so much fucking work that he does. He doesn't do it for likes and views. He does it because he's a good kid. Well, good even, dude. Even this game. Proud was, Aboriginal man. Even this game, right? Like, realistically, he's had just an injury ra ravaged last couple of seasons mm. in big games when it's mattered. Just the same as yeah. Tommy Turbo. Yeah. Ideally, this wouldn't be – if I'm a coach – for South Sydney, if I'm Demetrio, I probably don't want Latrell to play in this game. I'm not going to say, please play. But uh, Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you don't want to play? I'm also, okay. I'm also, as a coach, <clears throat> never going to tell any single player representing their culture no, to go, no, no, no. don't play, especially if you're fit and you're ready to go. So um, 
Yeah, shout out, shout out to him. He, he must deal with this shit all the time. We being in content, what? see it every now and again. Sometimes they see shit comments and you- When are we going to like, if we st- like just back off from him? Because I, I reckon he's got that in him just to go, you know, fuck footy. We, yeah, I'll, I'll, just, go, I'll yeah. just go back to the farm. Go back to fucking- yeah, He's a, he's a simple, farm. he needs yeah. to get out of Fishing. Sydney, bro. You know yeah. what I mean? Like most of these indigenous kids, man, they're not from the city. And when they're not from here, like they, they want to go back. Because that's where their home is on country, you know what I mean? Like they, they fucking feel that. Yeah. In their DNA. It's fucking, you're built like that. So I don't understand why they just keep coming for him. But it's society. Think, you know what it is? You know what it is? It, sucks, sorry, that, sorry it sucks that you sort of say. Uh, you know what it is? Mm-hmm. Just say in the society, in the game that he's playing now, like he's super aggressive, right? If he had have played in the 2000s, what he does all the time yes. was the norm. Yes. So it wouldn't have been like like Justin Hodges and all those fuckers. Just, they used to do that all the time. So, But because it's, it's such a, a clean point. skin game, everyone just looks and when he's shoving people's heads in and pushing them and all that sort of shit, me, I'm like, that's just the norm. Average kid, 20, oh, you fucking grub, all this sort of stuff. Like, because he's so hyper aggressive, fucking, he, he throws his weight around and plays at that level all the time and he's fucking really good. They hate him. He would have been a 90s legend. He would have been, mate. He well, he still is a legend now, but. <laughs> but all those centers were all right. like that. Good point. Like they, because, but we were just so um, desensitized to it. Yep. It was just the norm. Now, it's a fucking clean skin game. Latrell can't do shit. Anyone who's hyper aggressive in this game gets fucking shut down. Yeah. Yeah, you're 100% right, mate. All right, let's get into the games. We've got footy tonight, mate. You ready to go? <laughs> Your Bulldogs are up first. The Bulldogs are up first. They're playing at Belmore Sports Ground tonight. Let's go through some of the teams. Uh, I'll go through the, your Bulldogs. Taff gets the first opportunity to play mm. fullback. Blake Wilson and Jarrell Scouting on the wings with the Fox away on Indigenous duties. Eli Clark. Tell me a little bit about Eli Clark. Do you know much yeah, about him? Yeah, I did. Trent? I saw him last year a little bit. He's yep. a good kid. He's a yep. um, good defensive player. He's not the biggest kid. Good footwork. Like They don't really know what position he was. Okay. Like, like the winger, centre. In the halves, hooker, like we're just sort of they were trolling him out at a few other positions. Deserves his, deserves a crack. Awesome. We get to see Bronson Cherry in his first game of footy in a long time. Uh, Mudders Hutchison wins the spot for seven with Matty Burton. Uh, Maxwell King. Do you know his name's Maxwell? Maxwell, yeah. It's Maxwell. <laughs> <laughs> he I, should I, use Maxwell. I fucking so I first it's more seen intimidating. A bloke bloke in a bar put it on his um, team list on. Thursday and I wrote to him and he, I tagged him and he didn't write back too. Shout out Maxwell. Fucking hell, I was Maxwell. like, have you had Maxwell on the bag this whole time and just fucking not even been dropping it on people? You gotta hit, hit him with the Maxwell. I'm fucking Maxwell every day of the week. <laughs> Maxwell Mason. He's Maxwell. <laughs> <laughs> He's Maxwell King to me. All oh season. man, yeah, yeah. All right, Reed Marnie, uh, the young Terraway, Sam Hughes. That you're pretty high on, yeah, Mace. Yeah. Uh, Katoni Katoga. Katoga. Apologies if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, Jacob Preston and the weak gutted dog in the starting lineup. As for the bench. Uh, sorry, that's Jamin Salmon for those who aren't aware. Uh, you got Toby Sexton, Pawasa Farmasuli, Liam Knight, Jordan Samrani, uh, and then a whole bunch of sort of yeah. uh, train and trial good players. To see Jordan, Jordan Samrani is a good young kid. Yep. Did his ACL last year. A um, few little, like just awful injuries. We got him from Cronulla uh, about 18 months ago. The greatest kid. I'm just happy that he's, he's actually trying in first grade. Oh, awesome. It's, a, it's, it's to be a massive achievement for him. It's yeah, good. looking for. Really, I'll, really I'll, I'll keep an eye on him tonight. Yeah. I'm really looking forward big to kid. watching this game. I think, it, I think he might end up. He probably hate this. He probably, I think he might end up in the back row. Okay, he's a big. He's got a good, good rig for back row. Okay. Sam Hughes. Yep, he's like a young Jason Riles. Okay, that's where I can compare him to. All right, that's a good comp. Yeah, Riles is a weapon. I think he 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 would play good in the two thousands because he's got that. He's, he's an old school psycho. Front row. Yeah, he's old, fucking okay. psycho. He don't say much, but you can tell he. would Oh, man. You need that. Yeah, I need. We need, just need to that. harness it into yeah. the 2020s, right? Yeah. He's got that aggressive streak in him. Good leg speed. So he's been injured like last year. He was injured the whole time. Ended up playing a few games at the back end of the year. Yep. And showing some potential, a couple of things here and there. Whole preseason now. Grouse. Looks like an animal. Got those mad bumpers and like, you know, like just real gangly, you know, it just yeah. wants to hurt you. Hard, wants to hurt yeah. you. The Which ones who get the bumpers great. up and they're hard to tackle. Yeah, mm. I know you talking Good, about. like really hard. Like when he wrestles, he doesn't re- he rarely gets beat. I like that. Um, Pappy's back, baby. Captain yeah, Skipper Pappy. He's going to be playing fullback for the Storm. Uh, Dean Yeremia De- and Tui Pilotu Katoa on the wings. Rima Smith and Marion Seve. This will be a, a test for them because I dare say that. Sorry, have you seen Seve's rig? Seve's a dog. Oh my god! Seve's a dog. I saw the storms uh, Instagram. Yeah, he's a beast. Yeah, Ooh. he's 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 the same size as Olam. 
Same, <laughs> same rig. Um, Keegan Russell Smith in the sixth jersey. Jonah Pezzett. Uh, they've got big wraps, obviously, on him now, being one of Brace guys. Uh, in the front row, Tristan Pell, Tyron Wishart, Wishart Aaron Penne. Uh, on, in the back row, Kane Bradley, Chris Lewis, Trent Liero's playing lock. Um, is Sua Falongo part of this game? No, he's not. So a whole man. bunch of yeah. yeah kids and that on the bench as well, uh, and some squad members in there as well mixed in. But um, I think your Bulldogs will be able to get this job done in this one, Mace. Looking at the they odds should. now, they're a dollar seventy four with our friends and our partners at the tab. Two dollars ten about the Melbourne Storm. Yeah, I like the Bulldogs in this one. I think though they've got more to play for, uh, more competition for spots, depending on how much minutes. Well, that's some why. Of I mean, like Melbourne. Play. I don't think Melbourne take this all that serious. It's for the younger guys who's who's in the top 30, Fighting giving them the a chance. You know what I mean? Um, and a few guys who need the game time, like Pappy, where we're like, we need to find combinations. Mm. Like it's – like Ciro takes these um, trials pretty serious. Yeah, for sure. And Where Melbourne knows their nucleus, right? What are yeah. you going to – you just got to fit them around the main dudes. Pappy's going to go hard. Looking forward to seeing Pappy Yeah, play, I just want to – I'm not happy that he's out in the field on the first trial. Yeah. So he's going to get three games under him, then he's going to go into round one hopefully and have a fucking great year. All right, the second game, which is on tomorrow. No, it's on Saturday. So they play the Indigenous All-Star games, which we'll get to at the end of this. So on Saturday, the Indigenous All-Stars women's and men's is on the Friday. Saturday, the 17th of February at 1.45, we have the Knights versus the Sharks. We've got Fletcher Sharp at fullback. Uh, Thomas Jenkins, the young uh, uh, winger that come from the Panthers, he's gone and taken Dominic Young's spot on the wing as it stands. Anari Tuala. Christian Mapapalangi in the centres. Greg Marzu, obviously, the terror away on the wing. He'll be playing on the left. Um, the best spine in the game, Tyson Gamble and Jackson Hastings, six and seven. <laughs> Daniel Safidi and Jacob Safidi the in the spine. front row. With Phoenix Crossland, well-deserved. Uh, looks like he's held on to that spot. He's, no, he's not part of the squad. Look, I was looking for uh, Brayley to see if he was back in. Uh, Jed Cartwright and Dylan Lucas get the first opportunity to fight for that other back row spot mm. outside of on the other side of Tyson Frizzell. Uh, Mudders Croker locking down the pack. Love me some Mudders Croker. Jack Cogger on the bench. He comes over utility v- value who could push for a, a yeah. half spot as well at the Knights. He'd be close. Jack Hetherington, Brody Jones, Tom Kant, and then a whole What's heap of uh, Tom Kant. Kant. Legit, C A N T. Let's no, hope you can. Not. Let's hope you can. <laughs> You can't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then a whole bunch of the other young kids uh, playing on the bench as well. Um, as for, let's have a look. Kay Dykes, another big back in, another big in for the Sharks. He comes back after multiple back to back ACL injuries over the last three years. Good so good him. to see him back good playing. Um, Sione Katoa is on the wing with Samuel Stone Street. KL. Iro is the son of either Tony or yeah, Kevin. He's been yeah. around there for a bit. Mawani Hiroti in the centre is with him. Daniel Atkinson and Niwai Puru are in the halves. Big tearaway, big seven, six foot five of the best. Tom Hazelden, Jaden Barrell, Oregon Kafusi. He needs a big year, Oregon Kafusi. Mm. I thought he was going to be better than what he was last year for the Sharks. Jesse Calhoun and Teague Wilton in the back row. Cam McInnes is the skipper. Goes all day. Third degree burns, Billy. Uh, is on the bench with Jack Williams, Tuku, Hau Tapuhu, Tapuha, uh, Lachlan, Jake Crouch, and a whole, oh, Sifatelica is there as well in the 23. That's mm. a little bit concerning for him. Um, or maybe potentially be maybe he's had an injury, injury or something like that. Yeah. You know, he needs a bit of a run. Uh, and then a whole bunch of other kids yeah. on the bench as well. So uh, looking at those two teams with the lineups, I think Knights. Newcastle Knights, yeah. We're going Newcastle Knights. It's weird how they get They're the dollar- mix, though. How the coaches are getting the mix. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, finish it. Yep. So the Knights are dollar forty-seven with our friends and partners. The tab, Cronulla are two seventy. The line is six and a half. Uh, and they're coming for Cronulla with the start, dollar eighty-five. It's hard how you can actually bet on it, right? Very hard. You know what I mean? Like you, you don't, don't know, know how many minutes they could rip out the starters yes. and put some vets on, or vice versa. Yeah. Like it's hard, man. Yeah. Or sure. you might be looking for just say, Hoz, I need thirty minutes from you. Yeah. Done. That's what Wayne Bennett does. 40 minutes, big boy, get off. As soon as 40, he's like, get me off. Mm. You know, like, you're like Half all the, start, start, I'm doing the, the starters, the starters would slowly come off. So just say like you're paying like $2 or something there. Mm. It's good value. Because Cronulla them. haven't got, hey, that's no, not a bad enough. squad. There's, there's enough and who there. knows with some of these players from Newcastle that are going to turn up just because you're starting like Gamble and Hastings, half your spine. Yeah, I can't see. But like, I don't see those guys playing full games. No. 
30 minutes, 40 That's minutes. That's what I'm max, saying, max. right? And then they're off and then they go in, then they just, and then they you put young kids on and then they just get blasted. Yeah. Something could happen. So it's, they're oh, very Will, hard games to um. Will Price is on the bench to too. On. Looking forward to watching him play. Yeah, Will Price, impressive human. Yeah, look out for Will Price. Saw him Price. in Newcastle. He's built for the game, man. Built. Yeah. What sort of build, builds he got? Fuck, he's at least 6'3". What? Yeah. No way. Bro, he's like, I think he's your height a little bit smaller. What? I didn't oh, yeah. know he was that big. Leon Price is 6'5", yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, Let me look. I'll, I'll get the well, I'll get whatever his Wikipedia is. I thought he'd be 6'1". I don't know. He was sort Are of- you sure you didn't see Kai Pierce Paul? Did, was it not no, Kai Pierce Paul? It was, was, was definitely Price. Will Price. I about his dad. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I said I got you back in Newcastle, man. <laughs> It says six foot here, 183. Nah, who knows? He must have been wearing <laughs> he was high tops. Tall. Was he wearing? He was fucking, like he was nearly eye level with me. Was yeah. he wearing stilettos? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had Reebok pumps on, black top. He had Reebok black tops on. <laughs> All right, mate. Uh, moving on to the next game, we have maybe he's six foot. What's that? It's he, what's this? It couldn't be. He couldn't six be much more than that. <laughs> oh god! A little bit of GST Unless helps you're out. you're six foot five, I don't know. I'd be taking I can't that get you. It's like Rennie, Rennie Matur thinks he's 6'1". Yeah. He's 5'9". <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even like give him 5'10 or 5'11". No, no, no. Um. No, he's 5'11". All right, mate. The third game is at Gosford Stadium. We have the Chooks versus the Seagulls at 345. This Roosters team is stacked against our Manly Damn. Seagulls. Uh, Teddy, the skipper, is in. Starting fullback. Wings, Daniel Tupo, Dominic Young. Centres, Billy Smith, Joseph Okuso, Swali'i. What? Oh, shit. I've just got rid of it as I was talking about it. One sec. Flick back. Luke Keery, Sam Walker. Apparently, this guy is having the preseason of doom. Uh, who do I speak to? Cheese, maybe? No, full white. And Lindsay Collins in the front row. Shout out to my boy, uh, family friend, Zach Docker Clay. Uh, he's played had yeah. some time with the Bulldogs. He's at the hooker good role. Kid, he's got a top 30 spot with the Roosters. Proud of him, man. He's been, been working. He's been around for a minute. He'd be about 28, 29, Zachy, but still fucking working hard. Stilly Tupanua, Nat Butcher, they get the first crack at back row. Damn. Victor Radley at lock. Sandon Smith, Terrell May, Egan Butcher, Angus Crichton. Joseph Manu, 18th man. Siwa Wong, 19th. Connor Watson, 21. This team <laughs> is going hard. Oh, well, they are playing the week after, aren't they? Which yeah, so days after. they've purposely matched. Obviously, Manly and Rabbitohs played last week as well. Manly was close to full mm. strength, so they've dropped off this week. They're playing a lot of young kids yeah. and, and resting a lot of their it's starters. It's mindset with the coaches, what they're trying to do in these mm. three trials, right? What are you trying to look for? If you've got the nucleus of your team, which the Roosters do, yep. but you've still got so many other pieces coming back from injury. You've got Hargraves who's suspended. you got Spencer Lenu coming in. It's like... What are you looking for? Well, you yeah, got Spencer Dom Young. Part of that was he? You got Dom Young. Mm. Where do you fit him in? Where's Joey Manu come back out? Like it's. Well, it's interesting that they've got Joey in the eighteen, which is smart from Robbo. Mm. So what he's doing, Joey Manu is obviously a lock. Yeah. So he's given the other three. In my opinion, it's yes, going to be. It's a trial for those three. It's a trial for all three to fight for position. Billy Smith, uh, Swal- Swali, and maybe Toops, or maybe Dom Young, all four actually. We'll be fighting for those three yeah. positions. Iron sharpens iron. Yeah, man. Be, one right, of them, sorry, one of them would be like, holy, what? Fuck, one of them's, one of us are going to go, mm. unless there's an injury there. Mm. So imagine the little wrestling sessions would be solid. Who's going hard? I reckon, mm. I reckon Billy Smith would go Billy hard. Smith, yeah. <laughs> go he's got to he's go. He's the less talented out of He's got to go. He's got to go. The other three are just. He's the less animals. physically gifted, so he's got to go harder. Tupo and yeah. Suli. Right. And that's not even like no disrespect, Billy Smith, but you got some fucking dogs you're yeah. competing with, you know. And you, that's why you've got that dog in you yeah. that I love. All right, let's get to Manly. Bailey Hodgson at fullback, Jackson Bolo on the wings with Raymond Tai, Tui Malo Vega. Uh, Tommy Talao was good uh, in his first appearance for, for Manly on the weekend. Clayton Fu Lalo. Uh, Jake Arthur was really good in that game that I watched as well for Manly. Brandon Wakeham in the halves. Um, shout out to T Sips, Tor for Foa, Sipley, Skipper with Taniella Paseka, Mount Paseka, Carl Lawton uh, locking uh, at hooker, Ben Travojevic scored three of the best against the Rabbitohs, Ben Condon will probably play right edge back row, Nathan Brown has just been um, got an upgrade, eh? got an upgrade to a top thirty spot. Well done, get, yeah. Shout out, well Brownie. done, shout out, Brownie. Uh, I think he'll be good for Manly this year. He's, he, Looks motivated, man. He looks I motivated. I saw the manly, the manly way. If he can uh, sort of simplify his game again to when he first started and he was just tearing away through the middle, then I think he'd be perfect for Manly. 
A lot of raps coming out of Manly about this Jamie Humphreys kid. He's a bit of a hybrid. I think he played fullback for him, and um, he's really pushing for this number 14 spot. Shuey plays his first game. He's coming off the bench in the 15 jersey with uh, Ethan Ethan Bullimore, Woodsy, uh, Gordon Chem, Kam Tong, Brad Parker, Tarsi James, Dean Madison, and then a whole heap of other young kids as well. See, his mindset is what? Like, you'd stack it last week, get them all out, and then have a big rest for these rounds round zero. zero. Yeah. So Ches isn't Where playing at all? At all? Roosters, nothing last week, then build, build, build. Yeah. Ches isn't playing any trials at all. Turbo won't be playing any trials at all. Probably Jakey won't. They um, shouldn't either. They've been around they long enough. The back they're not end, required. Like, they'll play next week. I mean, they'll play in Vegas. That's it. Uh, as you'd expect, base and big, and they come out and play massive minutes and not let anyone down. That's yeah. what happens when you're a vet. You got the runs on the board. Yeah. You deserve it. Um, as expected, mate. The Sydney Roosters are a dollar eleven head to head. Manly is six fifty. The line eighteen and a half. I don't know, man. With that Roosters team, looks pretty stacked, be, and they yeah. don't have many young kids on the bench. I think no, Roosters are just going to be going hard, hard. I think is that eight, their top squad all named? So when we talk about 23 players, they've got about 23, 24 first grade players going All for right. 17, I'll haven't they? i quickly have a look. So I think maybe Spencer Lenu, Jared Rea, Hargraves. Jared. That's about They've it. only got 21. Uh, even even now that uh, Fitalanga Ponga, Ponga, yeah. Ponga, Ponga, you pronounce his name, Junior Ponga, he uh, he played on the wing last year yeah. for him. So Siwa Wong's in the 19 jersey. Fuck, stacked, man. Yeah. Stacked. And, They're and, and go Crichton's hard. on the bench too. They're, going They're probably hard. like – they're your two starters, yeah. round one. All right, mate, let's get to the, I think it might be the first game on Sunday. It's Parramatta. No, this is on Saturday as well. This one's at 5.55. Parramatta Eels versus the Canberra Raiders. So that young kid I told you to watch out for, Blaze Talangi, both young kids uh, in the fullback jerseys are my players to watch for the season. Blaze Talangi and Chevy Stewart for the Canberra Raiders beat out Xavier Savage, so we'll get to that in a bit. But let's stay on Parramatta. Hayes Dunster and Sean Russell on the wings. Morgan Harper and Bailey Simonson in the centres. Dijon Arcee, the young Ethan Sanders kid, big rap on him as well, uh, in the seven and six. Kai Rudwell, Offahiki Ogden, Brendan Hans gets first shot at the nine jersey. Sean Lane will skipper with Cal Matulungi in the back row as well. Ryan Madison at lock. Luca Moretti, Widmu! Widmu Greg on the bench with Matt Dury, Makahisi Makatoa, Matthew Arthur. Um, little Bud, do you remember Bud from? No, you weren't. You never had Brad, did you? No. So this is the younger brother of Jacob. Oh, okay, he's more like Brad. Like he's like an angry little <laughs> hooker that's going to come off the bench. So <laughs> watch out for him. Uh, he was always just, he always just like reminded me of Brad so much. Yeah. It always seemed like he was angry as like a ten year old kid. He's one of those ones. So looking forward to angry seeing him. Angry ten year old, <laughs> angry ten year old, always. Uh, Tony Mata Ali, Joshua Lynn, Charlie Gomo, a whole heap of young kids. Zach Sini, uh, Lumi Lumi's a part of some of those guys on extended bench. As for the Raiders, like I said, Chevy Stewart wins, gets first crack at that fullback jersey with Nick Kotrick and Xavier Savage on the wings. James Schiller and Albert Hopper Whitey in the centers. Ko Weeks and uh, he gets the sixth jersey, yep. but. Uh, who I thought was going to play six. Ethan Strange is in the seven with no uh, – who's the – Fogarty. Fogarty. I'm no had a blank on him. Yep. Uh, up front, Emre Gula with Pasimi Sawalu, uh, Zach Wolford, Mitchell Spencer, Simi Sasangi, Atta Mariota, Tom Stalin, a uh, whole heap of young kids, yeah. Danny Levi mixed in there and, yeah, a whole lot of that. There's not many stars. How many people uh, – Joey Tapine, Papali'i. Yep, they're the playing. Horsburgh. Horsburgh's out. Huddy Young's out. Tarps is playing Indigenous, uh, all, the All Star game. Mm. Um, Big Papa. My, my no Geordie Raps. No Fogarty. So a lot of the OGs are out. Yeah. And same thing. Runs He's, on the yeah, board. Yeah. You don't need them playing. Paramount are $1.74 with our friends and partners at the tab. Canberra $2.10. The Lions 195 in favour of the one point for the Canberra Raiders. I don't know. It's a tricky game. Yeah, one. Very this one, this is the one that you'd be fooled on, right? Because you could just pull all your starters off. Canberra's just got those bunch of dogs down there. They won't stop. The back line's pretty stacked. It's an exciting game to watch. Yeah. Chevy Stewart, Xavier Savage. Because they're playing for their positions Ethan around Strange, one. Ethan Strange, KO Weeks. a joke, yeah. Some good young kids to watch there in that game. And, um, God, no, Charles are serious now. I think, I think Parramatta are going to be relatively solid. But, you know, you're fighting for those starting hooker job and – well, the seven and six is the main reason why they get around the park and they're so dominant. Yeah. And Junior Paulo and Reg. Gutho. They're all out. 
Gutho's out. So like Canberra could easily roll them. Yeah, I could easily. See, I could see a world in that. Right? And Australia Jubilee that's played at as well. That's uh, Dragon Town, Dragon, isn't yeah. it? That's because the next game is at the same stadium, Nostrada Jubilee Stadium. We have the Rabbitohs versus the Dragons. Uh, fullback, no trail mitt, so we've got Jacob Gagai. Um, Gags. Yeah, nice. Jacob Gags. Um, Alex Johnson, Tane Milne on the wing, Isaiah Tass and Richie Kenner in the centres. Dean Hawkins and Lockie Ilias in the halves. Tavita Totola, Sean Kepi in the front row. Peter Mamazoulis in for Damian Cook. Keon Colomantangi, Jai Arrow, and Skipper Cam Murray's playing. Uh, Jai Gray, Jacob Host, David Mawale, Thomas Burgess. A lot of these players didn't play last week, obviously, for South, mm. so this will be their big hit out as well. Talos Duncan, 18th man. Chi, Michael Chi Cam in the 19. Uh, third degree Burns of the Braden variety in the 22. Um, yeah, so they've got a pretty good team. They're going to go pretty it. hard. Yeah. Just like the Roosters. Just like the Roosters, getting ready for round zero. As for the Dragons, this is uh, probably one of the more interesting back fives. Yep. In preseason for sure. So Tyrell Sloan gets back in time after the ankle injury in the uh, Indigenous Koori knockout last year. He'll be fullback. Zach Lomax on the wing. Let's get to that. That's strange. Uh, therefore, Jack Bird goes into the centres. I've seen Flano hinting at Jack Bird playing centres. Therefore, I thought Zach Lomax would be competing for Tyrell Sloan for the fullback position. How do you, how do you I see I just think you're, you're wasting Zach Lomax's peak and his potential and his talent. By sticking him on the wing. Mm. The dude has, like, he can shake you. He can, he's got a right foot, right flick. He's got all those skills. You've got to put him in the centers. He's a right side center. Mm. Yeah. He's just got to, like, mm. he's. I, there's a part of me that know. likes, look, I always like when coaches think outside the box as well, right? Like, Flano's going there. He's trying to get potentially a reaction and try to, maybe in his mind, like, their best five, back five, is you get more the high quality of play with Jack Bird playing there. Jack hasn't been able to play big minutes in the back row. He's been, you know, he's had that lingering, yeah. lingering knee injury. If you simplify, I can see a world in where Zach Lomax goes from anywhere between the 10 to 15 carries playing in the centres. He still gets, he's going to miss out on that good ball, which he gets playing in the centres when, when they have those nice, beautiful yeah. shifts. But I think he can go from 10 to 15 to 15 to 20 carries. Get him more yardage and yeah. play more of a. He's going to get the ball role. more. Of course he is because he's, he's gonna, playing on the wing. Yeah, but it ain't good ball. Yeah, it's, it's different coming ball. out of your fucking backfield when others are just ready to take your face off. Do you That's get, what he's getting. Do you reckon he's going to get a license to rove? I feel like he's going to get a license. Well, to I hope rove. so. I hope they've got a bigger plan for him than just left side wing or right side wing. Because that's you're just taking a lot of footy out of him. He's got a lot of football. It'll be right side because Jack Bird's a right side center. No, right did, arm carry. Did Ravalawa play right wing? I'm trying to. Ravalawa played right wing, yeah. He does, He eh? did. Yeah. So it'd be left wing. He'd be left wing outside right of Right arm sword. carry. I tell you what, it's a physical back four. Mm. Very physical. He's fucking tough, there's, Zach. Zach can play, man. There's going to be some good yardage carries coming out of here. And especially when you've got a guy like Tara Slane, that's not his bread and butter as well. No. So you, you surround him with Sully, Lomax, Jack Bird, and Ravalawa. They're going to carry the ball hard. If you're playing St. George, you're kicking it straight down the middle. So he can't link up with his wingers. Mm. You kick it anywhere down edges, down near the numbers line, he's crossing Ravalawa and he's straight, straight to Zach Lomax, which is smart. Yeah, That's what Brett Stewart used to do. Yeah, because like, do. they're coming down about 10 or 11, not even not to hit you, to pick you up, to drag you back. Yeah. So that, that'd be the game plan. I'm intrigued. I'm, I, I don't I'm, know what they're going to do with Zach. See what it is, looks he, like. is he quick? He's like quick. He's quick, but he's not like... Lightning quick. And like Fox quick or anything like that. But does he have to be like – he's Will Warburg quick, I'd say. Yeah, like he's not slow. You know what I mean? Just, say, just takes – I just see so much talent in him. Yeah. And I'm like, you just sit it on the wing. Is Are you – in a way, are you disappointed that like it hasn't worked out as much for Zach Climax to be put yeah, in this you know, position? He'd be, he'd be looking at other players who come through with him in a different system, different coach, different players that mm. are excelling, playing for Australia – playing for New South Wales, playing for Queensland, and he's stuck at St. George on the wing. <laughs> stuck at St. George. He'd be furious. <laughs> yeah, He'd be like, fuck, where, look, where's the pathway here? It's, like, not, it's not necessarily stuck at St. George's is like how they've been going for the last couple of yeah, years. Yeah. I know. Yeah. You know. You know what I mean. But yeah. he'd be thinking that, be going home going, fuck, you know, regardless of all the money he's on. Yeah. Good cash. Mm. We'll see what, see what sort of role he, he – 
Because the thing is, he's going to do a job for you. Yeah. He's going to catch all the of balls. He's, he's going to do everything like that. He's going to do play twos because he's fucking tough. Can you see a world in which maybe they flip and change it? Yes. Like too? Yeah. Lomax swaps like they might they might give – like just say if it's a physical game, maybe Lomax goes back to fullback. Yeah. Slaney, and then if they're on a nice little Surely run. Surely they could be interchangeable. You know? could, like it a, could, lot, it, a lot of that. It could be a mini Roger, Roger Tuovasa. Yeah, um, a mini. That, that sort of, yeah. yeah. I don't know what he's thinking, yeah, but like, if there's probably no one else. Yeah. All right. Uh, in the halves, Kyle Flanagan, Ben Hunt. Uh, pretty stacked team, actually, for the for, – this is as strong as they're going to get for the Dragons. Francis Moller, Mudders Lorry in the front row. Jacob Little at hooker. Tom Eisenhuth comes from the Melbourne Storm – to partner up Jaden Sewer in the back row with Jack DeBellin locking it down. Uh, Connor Marleason, Mar- uh, Viliami Fafita, Benny Mudders Masilla on the bench, Dylan Egan, Michael Mollor, uh, Jesse Marshke, uh, Matthew Fiengai, the Fiengai brothers, he's mm. a, they're one of the players that misses out. Uh, Dan Russell in the 25 jersey and the Couchman twins as well. So I like Dragons in this game. Yeah, same. It's tough, reason. man. Sort yeah. of that old school pack. Yeah. Is this the, is this the um the game? What's the what do they call it? The Rabbitohs vs Dragons game? What's charity that called? Shield. It's the Charity Shield. It too. is. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Whenever they play, it's the Charity yeah, Shield, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Um, what's the where are the odds? Oh, I don't have the odds for it. I've missed it. So let's go back. Apologies. Go sure, back. Georgia Vegas. Uh, I'll, you, yeah. No, uh, South's South are stacked. stacked. Yeah, South's pretty stacked as well. Yeah, they are. Dragons, $1.67. Mm. 220 about South, plus three and a half. Yeah, South's misses some big players. No Cookie, no, no Trell, no Cody. No, did I say Cookie already? Yeah, yeah. yeah That's all right, it. So Cookie. Enough. Yep. They're big players. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's move on to the next game. Who have we got? We have the War- the Waz versus the Tigers. Uh, fullback, Tane Tulpiki uh, on the wing, Setu 2 with Marcelo Montoya skippering from the wing. Ali Shut Lautaro. Up. Roger Tua- <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Ali Lautaro, uh, Roger Tuovasa Shek in the centres, Chanel Harris Devita, Luke Metcalf at halfback, Bumpty Afoa, Tom Ale in the front row, Freddie Lusick, Jackson Ford, Jacob Laban, Kalani going. Um, Big tearaway Zion, Mayu, that a few of the uh, Warriors fans are excited about, and a whole heap of another young kids that are coming through. Oh, Luke Hansen. Shout out to Luke Hansen. So I played footy with Luke Hansen a couple of years ago, 18, 19 year old kid yeah. uh, from Glenmore Park who played up in A grade for us when we were short, short on numbers. When you just retired? When I just retired, yeah. So What a great story. He plays, um, he's very Wade Egan ish. Yeah, okay. Good subtlety. Um, goes all day. Only a small kid, but look out for Luke Hansen yeah. in the 23 jersey for the Waz. Uh, as for the Tigers, pretty strong team. Jareem Buller, Charlie Staines, and Junior Tupo on the wings. Uh, Sol- Solomona, Fatapi, Declan Casey in the centres. Jaden Sullivan gets first crack at the six with Caesar at halfback. Stefano Uto, Uto Ikamanu in the front row. Api Carousel, David Clemmer. Jeez. Full strength. <laughs> Isaiah Papali, Asu Kapoa in the back row. Alex Seafarth at lock. They pumped the young kid that I said to watch out for, Lachlan Galvin. Uh, he's in the 14 jersey with Josh Folletti, Fanua Paulette, Samuela Fine, who is apparently having the preseason to doom. Shout out for Lee Mato. Mm. Uh, Kit Laulili, uh, Siani Fainu, Talon De Silva. Um, Stacked. The little bro, Heath Mason. <laughs> and a whole heap of other young kids playing for the Shout Tigers as well. They're trying to set like a little bit of a statement, aren't they? Mm. Like we're going to go all in all year. I think – you know, I'm surprised with how big. I saw his thing on Instagram. Dream Buller is. Yeah, he's big. What's his 6'3"? 6'3". <laughs> he's at least 6'4". <laughs> Kenny McGinnis, remember the great Kenny McGinnis? Yeah. He was about this this much bigger than him. No, he wasn't. I'm telling Ken, you. Or Kevin. So Ken's the small one. Ken's the smaller one. Yeah. No, no Kevin was the small one. Whatever Kenny the, McGinnis. Whatever was the small one. Yeah. Fucking shrunk. Okay. Or, so or Buller's gotten you, bigger. I'm saying Jerome Buller's 6'1", easy. 6'4". <laughs> <laughs> he's 6'4", <laughs> Lukey. Yeah, I can't wait to watch him but play. But he's bigger than I'm he's excited than for you this Tigers team. Yeah, I think they'll be good. They'll be good. Yeah, Warriors. You know, no Fanua Blake, no Wade Egan, no SJ. That's that's enough. And that replicates what the odds are. So Warriors mm. are two dollars head to head. West Tigers are dollar eighty with our friends and partners at the tab. The line is plus one and a half. Like a lot of these games, very hard to pick. Yeah. Uh, moving on, North Queensland, North Queensland versus the Broncos. So pretty strong lineup for. The actually the Broncos gone pretty um pretty strong in this one. So Tom Chester, 
uh, gets the fullback spot for the Cowboys with Semi Valame and Robert Darby on the wings. Uh, Viliami Vailea comes over from the Warriors with Jodeki Tedaha t- uh, in the centres. Marcus Clifford gets the skipping jersey, uh, gets the captain straight away back from the UK. Jeez. Thomas Duffy with Thomas McKayley and Marley Bitu Gane in the Guys, some row. names, man. Sean Mullaney. <laughs> a lot of young kids that we hadn't heard of playing in these games. Jack Juskowski, Kuli Kefu Finu Fuyaki, uh, Sam McIntyre, and no one else of note that's played there. So, some um, young pups, eh? A lot of young pups playing against a pretty stacked Broncos team. Reese <laughs> Walsh, fullback. Oh. Corey Oates, Dean Mariner on the wings. Deloise Hoytar, Selwyn Cobo in the centres. Jock Madden and the skipper Adam Reynolds in the halves. Corey Jensen gets first crack with Payne Haas up front. Billy Walters at hooker. Brendan Piakura and Jaden Hunt in the back row. Paddy Tough carry. Again, at lock with Tyson Smoothie, Martin Tupperall, Fletcher Baker, Kobe Hetherington, Jordan Perea, the big young strapping young, young lad, Benjamin Takuda, easily 7-2. 7-2, mm, uh, easy. Big as Shaq. <laughs> Trudy Taylor on the bench, Corey Pakes, Blake Mozart. Good, strong Broncos lineup, and I yeah. gather that's going to reflect the odds. Correct? $4.50 about the North Queensland Cowboys, $1.20 about the Brisbane Broncos. It's going to be a pump, the line pumping. is pumping. Absolute flogging. Broncos going hard in this one. Yeah. Well, every every team that's playing over there is, is all they've all stacked their team. Yep. Um, yeah. The Cowboys they'll wait till next week. Yep. Have the week off and then roll into round one. Beautiful. All right. The last game is the Dolphins versus the Gold Coast Titans, I believe. Yes, that is correct. This one is on Sunday at six fifteen at Sunny Coast Stadium. By the by, the, way, the other one is at BP Print Stadium. Uh, Troy Fuller got a game last year. Looked right. I think he scored a couple of tries. Uh, on the wings, Jack Bostock. This is for the Dolphins, by the way. Mm. Jermaine Asako, Tessie New, Herbie Farnworth, Isaiah Katoa, Sean O'Sullivan, Jersey Flegler, Jeremy Marshall King, Mark Nichols in the front row. Ewan Aiken and Felice Kafusi in the back row. Ewan Aiken. My, yeah. my, the dog of all dogs, Tommy Gilbert, locking the pack. Uh, Max Plath on the bench with Valence Tomatoes. Uh, Jake Avrillo on the bench, Kurt Donahue, Ray Stone on the bench, Connolly Lamuelu on the bench, uh, Mudders Wallace. I got a few Mudders up there actually yeah. at, the, at the Dolphins. Um, yeah, so not a bad team. They're going to be all right. They're going to be all right. Pardon, mate. Oh yeah, just for the new uh, listeners. I think you're aware of it. If you've been around for a minute, you what know. What is Mudders when you refer to them as Mudders? You know, they got a little, They're a bit like me. Got a little bit chubby cheeks. They might have a little fucking... Skinnies at 80. <laughs> <laughs> got a little mudders around the mud guts. Still, you know, still relatively... Still get after fit, it, but... Still go hard, but they got that mudders about them. Um, the Titans, very inexperienced lineup. This one, Jalen DeGroote, Tony Francis and Kemba Marla on the wings, Aaron Shop, Jack Garrett in the centres, Tom Stedman, Cole Foxwell in the halves, Luke Burton, Vaka, Sikahele in the, is the hooker, Jordan Penquit. In the front yeah, row right, with them, right, right. Ryan Foran, Seth Nico Timo, uh, Arama Hull. Is this a Maldi team? No, this is, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the Titans, believe it or not. Uh, Tommy Weaver, a few more, a bit more experience on the bench, actually. So Desi's going to bring in some experience in the second half. Tom Weaver, Isaac Fusil Malawi, Joe Stimson, Cleese Haas, Harley Smith Shields, and a bunch of other, some more young kids. Yeah, he's playing the long game, man. You don't give a shit about trials. Shit. Gold Coast Titans are five dollars. Lions I like the Gold Coast to have a good second half. I don't mind. I might have a plan that plus fifteen right. and a half. Like fifteen. Dolphins and a half. aren't mucking around, are they? Dolphins aren't mucking around, but I think Gold Coast will have enough to keep it close enough with some yeah. of the other players that the Dolphins got going out. No yeah. Tino, no Fafita, no Foreign, no mm. Brimson, no Campbell. A lot of, oh, yeah, yeah, a lot of yeah. good players still out. So I think five dollars is too much. That could probably be my only play of the weekend. Obviously responsible. <laughs> and if you need free and confidential support, call 1-800-858-858 or visit gamblinghelponline.org.au. Remember, what are you really gambling with? You know, um, you know you, you've coached a while when you coached a father and son. Like he's coached that Plath kid. Remember yeah. Johnny Plath? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the son of the great Johnny Plath. Yes. <laughs> so Wayne's coach Wayne's Johnny. Wayne's coach. And, and his been son. For a minute. That's massive. Okay, Mace, here we are. It is all-star time. The Indigenous versus the Maldives all-star. So uh, our friends, our partners at the tab, 
want me to give the punters a player to watch out for. So I'm going to give him mm. Xavier Willison. I've been high on this kid for a minute. He's a young terror away from the Brisbane Broncos. Got a great opportunity with Jersey Flogler, mm. a.k.a. Thomas, moving up to the Dolphins or moving across to the Dolphins uh, to potentially uh, get a bench spot. Yeah. And this is a great way to start the year. I like that. I like it. Um, as for my same game multi, mate, I'm going to go with, obviously, sticking with the heart, the New Zealand Maldies uh, in this All-Star game. But... I'm going to go try scorer from each team. I think Cam Pereira, hopefully he's playing on the left edge, outside trail mitt, double cutout. Mm. That's how we like it, nice and silky. And as for the New Zealand Maldives, in big games, I want big game players, and there's none bigger for the New Zealand Maldives than Jerome Hughes. So yeah. give me Jerome Hughes anytime. You can multi all three of those up. Maldi Hall, all stars, head to head. Cam Pereira anytime. Jerome Hughes anytime for $14. Let's go. Nice. The final lineups are out. Latrell Mitt, fullback, uh, backline stack. Josh Adokar, uh, Cam Pereira on the wings. Hamasai Tabuai Fido, Katani Staggs in the centres. Braden Trindle, Nicholas Hines. Shaq Mitchell, Kieran Mosley, Josh Kerr, Adam Elliott, Josh Curran in the back row. Jermaine Hopgood at lock. On the bench, Bailey Butler, Brian Kelly, Hohepu Pudu. I thought you'd have a little bit of mouldy about him with that nickname. Uh, with that, not nickname, last name. Uh, Bailey Biondi Oro, Zach Fulton, Jordan Grant, Cole Labart. Uh, and for the New Zealand Maldi, Jesse Arthurs gets a crack at fullback with Jojo Fafita caught in on the wing with Adam Pompey, Dane Gagai and Matty Tumacall in the centres, Cody Nicarima and Jerome Hughes in the halves, Royce Hunt and Leo Thompson up front. Love Hughes. that front row with Cheese at oh. hooker. Britton Nicola and Kenny Bromwich in the back row with Joseph Tarpany at lock. Shit. It's a stack. It's a, it's a fish, back. fish ain't playing? No fish. No fish. On the bench, Jazz Devanga, Trey Mooney, Xavier Wilson, Dylan Walker, Tamati Martin, Jack Howarth, and Keenan Palacia. Yeah, I reckon the Maldives got this same. Mm. Just so that forward I. pack. Their backs are going to do a job. That Jesse Arthurs runs the ball hard. Yeah. Their back five is going to do a job. Who's in the halves? Jerome Hughes and <laughs> Cody Nicaruma. Yeah. I think just those just those core players, plus their middles and Tarpane and all those, Bromwich. I think um, I think they'll get it done. It'll be It'll be – a lot harder than last year, I think. But um, yeah, I think they just got too many class players. I love this. I love this round, man. Yeah, I can't the wait. Fucking dances of the war Footy's dance. Footy's back, and baby. That. Oh, it's crazy. Footy's if back. If the, if the back of your hair doesn't stand up on your neck, you've got no emotions at all. All right, the girls will be playing before them as well. Queensland Country Back Stadium. Let's go. The GOAT, Tamika Upton at fullback, Monique Donovan. And Kimberly Hunt on the wings. Jamie Chapo in the centres with Bobby Law. She can score a try, Chapo. Fuck, this team's pretty good for the Indigenous. Uh, Tal Talia Fui Moano and Kira Dib in the halves. Uh, Kelly Sins, Quincy Dodd, and Talisha Harden up front. Olivia Koenig in the back row. Shaley Bent, Keely Joseph. Fuck, that's a good back row. Uh, Todd Hunter, Kemp Williams, and Mahalia Murphy with Jasmine Peters as the 18th man. As for. Uh, the New Zealand Maldi. We've got Corbin Baxter, Zali Fay with Jasmine Strange on the wings. I didn't know Jasmine Strange was a Maldi. Shanice Parker, Bovetti Welsh in the centres. Good back line as well. Racy, I think this is where we'll get him as well. Racy McGregor and Sahara Tamara in the – that's yeah, back good. to back. Uh, Racing definitely won a player of the year two years ago. Sahara Tamara is one of the OGs. She's gone up front. Shannon Mato, Destiny Brill and Hill Moana. Um, Anessa Biddle in the back row with Kennedy Sheridan, Brookie Anderson locking down with Ashley Quinlan, Rima Butler, Kere Hitina, Mato, Shante Temara, and Tiana Ratsford Smith is the 18th. So up the Wahine. Go the girls. Um, we'll be watching both games. Footy's back, mate. Yeah, it's back. How Proper. fucking good. Can't wait for it. Um, and again, Apologies to the Indigenous team, but I'm on the Wahini. I'm on the Maldives as well Damn. for the girls. Oh, yeah, is he playing? Is he? Uh, before this, before these, before these games. Oh, so Lukey just said uh, a friend of Levels Network. He helped us out while we're over there. Oh, little fella in New Zealand, Shiloh Flav Flavel. Yeah, uh, nice. He's playing for the New Zealand Maldi in the touch before the game. So shout out. We'll be watching, bro. I'll be, yeah, if that is that work. televised as well before the games. Luke? So, yeah, sometimes they just put it on YouTube. So we'll be looking out for that. Love that kid. He's um, good kid. Good, doing good things and he's a gun touch player too, bro. I love watching his highlights. Um, everyone enjoy the footy over the weekend, Mace. Enjoy your weekend mm -hmm. and we'll be back reviewing the trials and we'll be able to dissect some of these young guns that yeah. are coming through. So looking forward to the trials over the weekend.